kata for blessings which the monks give after receiving their alms. First given in monotone, which is the usual practice of the serious practitioner to not get lost in harmony or the beauty of the sound of it. And then perhaps also less monotone and more deeply intoned, but not musical and a final version more musically intoned but which should not be a form of chanting which one should cling to and so it's not ultimately recommended but is a beautiful thing in itself beautiful things in themselves and clinging to them are not the makkha or the path to liberation or the cessation of suffering and so I have little to say about this in that matter in this particular uh, audio publication rather what is important is the kata itself and so it's normally pronounced tonelessly but I'll give you all versions and you can use them in whichever way you wish the first version comes in monotone it is sapitiyo viva chantu saparoko vinatsato mate pawal vantarayo sukhi Tika yoko pawa apiwata na sili tsani chang. Uta patay no jataro tama watanti. Ayop wano sukang pa rang. One more time. Sapiti yo wi wachanto saparoko wi natsato mate pawa wantarayo suki. Tika yoko pawa apiwata na sili tsani chang. Uta patay no jataro tama watanti. Ayuwano sukang palang. One more time, because it's usually said three times. Sapi tiyo wiwa chantu saparoko winatsato mate pawa vantarayo suki tika yoko pawa apiwata na sili tsani chang utapa jaino jataro tama watanti ayuwano sukang palang. And so then once one knows the kata and in another podcast shall be teaching how to understand the meaning of the kata when that uh, becomes spontaneously automatically known and uh, you don't need to concentrate on that any further you can step on further into saying it with more meaning uh, knowing what it means and so you will then inflect naturally a little bit more intonation, but not in search of the beauty of it, rather than it will just come out that way in a natural form. And so I'll try to say with more conviction. I think conviction is the important, is the best word to describe how one should then take it further. And so I'll take a go at doing it now with a little more conviction as we should do when we make kata, because that's what makes them powerful. That's one of the major keys to the power within the kata, is really meaning it when you say it. Even in Western occultism and magic, uh, will magic, and so it is force of concentration and effort. That is the manif another key to manifestation of the magic within the kata and the chanting of the kata. And so here comes the second version. Sapiti yo viva chanto, saparoko winatsato, mate pawat wantarayo, suki, tika yoko, pawa apiwatana silitsani chang, uta pataino, jataro, tamma watanti, ayo wano, sukang patlang, and one more time. Sapiti yo viva chanto, saparoko winatsato, mate pawat wantarayo, suki, tika yoko pawa apiwatana sili tsani chang, utapa jaino, jataro tamma watanti, ayo wano sukang patlang. And one last time. Sapiti yo viva chanto, saparoko winatsato, mate pawat wantarayo, suki, Tika yoko pawa apiwata na sili tsani chang utapa jai no jataro tamma watanti ayu wano sukang pa lang. I myself uh, being rather inclined towards uh, that's one reason why I 
symbolize my path with the mask of the Asura Deva Tawitsu one is because in fact uh, I have a loud voice and when I get full conviction it sometimes may sound aggressive but I think uh, the loudness comes from rapture and so I think everybody finds their own way uh, to make a kata powerful there is, one can also make it kata powerful by being very gentle which I'll give one verse only as a demonstration which would be and well meant with the meaning of this kata and it's very fitting and this is how perhaps it should really be spoken because how I did it was more of a magical incantation than a prayer or a blessing and actually it is a prayer that is a blessing which will be in the podcast which describes the meaning of this kata and so here is perhaps how I feel it should be performed with metta sapitiyo vivachantu saparoko vinatsato mate po akmantarayo Suki tika yoko pawa apiwa tanasili tanichang uta pataino chataro tama watanti ayo wano sukang palang and so uh, before I give the more musical verse as the last version I would now like to explain something that this kata has two ways of saying it the way we have learned in this podcast is the full version most monks because you, when you're walking on Bintabad uh, which is on alms rounds you in Thailand you have so many people wish to make merits by giving alms and so you end up being short on time and so there is a way to give the same well meant empowered blessing with a shorter way of chanting it and that is to shorten the first two verses into two thirds of the whole kata and repeat three times but on the third time to uh, give the full complete it with the missing part which was not given in the first two verses and that would be if I can remember I shall try sapitiyo viwachanto saparoko vinansato mate pawawanturayo soki Tikayoko Pawa and then it would go back to Sapitiyo Wiwachanto Saparoko Winatsato Mate Pawa Bantarayo Suki Tikayoko Pawa Sapitiyo Wiwachanto Saparoko Winatsato Mate Pawa Bantarayo Suki Tikayoko Pawa Apiwa Tanasili Tanichang Uta Bataino Jataro Tama Watanti Ayo Wano Sukang Palang. And so now, lastly, I will give the musical verse. Sapitio Iwa Chantu Saparo Koi Natsato Mate Pawa Wanda Rayo Sukiti Kayuko Pawa Apiwa Tanasili Tani Chang Utaba Jai no Jataro Tamawa Tanti Ayu Wano Sukang Parang. It also go higher. Sapiti o iwa chantu sapa roko inatsatu mate poa pantara yo suki tika yo kopa wa api wa chana si le chani chang utaba chai no chata rota mawa tanti ayo ano sukang parang. And so on. But uh, it tends to get clinging to because it is very beautiful when you get into it and musical, which can invoke rapture, and rapture can invoke the first jhana, which means total concentration. If you achieve rapture through chanting, and it is one of the six ways which the Buddha explained, uh, one can attain enlightenment or realizations, and definitely realizations, and perhaps also enlightenment, is through chanting. Because if you understand the meaning and you know how to empower the chanting of the kata, then, of course, the kata becomes, for the first time, powerful. And only then, when you really, really mean it, it only happens when you really mean it. And that's very difficult to learn. 
being a confused human and most humans are very very confused and even I consider myself seeing even using the word even when one says even I that shows the arrogance which we all have as humans when we think we are different from others and we say even I make mistakes and so we are confused humans but we can empower Qatar if we can find the way to really mean it and once we have found that way of really meaning it we will realize also a part of what is the path which the Buddha taught because you need to really mean it to enter that path and so I'd like to finish this podcast by actually performing the blessing and wishing you all well and so Sapitiyo viwachantu saparoko vinatsatu mate pawat bantarayo Suki tikayoko pawa apiwatana sili tani jang utabatayino Tataro tamawa tanti ayuwano sukang palang Sapitiyo viwachantu saparoko vinatsatu mate pawat bantarayo Suki tikayoko pawa apiwatana sili tani jang utabatayino Tataro tamawa tanti ayuwano Sukang Patlang Sapiti yo we watanto Saparo ko we natsato Mate pawat wantarayo Suki Tika yo ko Pawa api watana sili tani chang Utapa tai no tataro Tama watanti Ayo wano Sukang Palang this is Ajahn Spencer signing off and hoping that this proves useful to as many people as possible. Good night, everybody. <laughs>